The story I'm going to read to you today is called The Story of Jesus, and it's in the book of the Little Golden Books Bible Stories. It was written, written by Jane Varner Watson and illustrated by Jerry Smath. The Story of Jesus. Look at all those sheep and shepherds. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a town in the rocky hills of Judea. Mary and Joseph were his parents. And just look at that. In a stable he was born in. Joseph worked as a carpenter when Jesus grew old enough. He helped him. Jesus was 12 years old when he and his parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. Jesus was thrilled by the sight of Jerusalem towering behind its great stone walls. Look at that, the people on top of those walls. Jesus' heart rejoiced when he entered the temple the house of the Lord God. Jesus knew even then that his life's purpose would be to work for his Father in heaven, telling people about him. There's a priest sitting. When Jesus became a young man, he met a prophet called John the Baptist. John asked people to stop doing wrong and be baptized to show that they were starting a new life and a better life. John baptized Jesus in the River Jordan. At that moment, God sent a dove down from heaven, a sign that he was pleased. Afterward, Jesus went off by himself deep into the desert. He stayed there for many days, thinking about the good and evil in the world. He prayed to, for God to show him the way to live his life. When Jesus returned from the wilderness, he began to teach. He traveled from town to town, preaching the good news of the kingdom of God and healing those who were sick. Just look at all those people. There are soldiers over here, and there's mothers and fathers traders and all kinds of people. We're going to see what else Jesus did. Jesus met with fishermen tending their nets on shore and with shepherds watching their flocks. Once Jesus spoke to a crowd of about 5,000 people. It grew late and everyone was hungry. Only one boy had brought food, five loaves of bread and two small fishes. Jesus took the boy's food and blessed it. Then he broke the food into pieces and gave it to the people. Through Jesus' miracles, everyone had enough to eat that day. One night when Jesus and his disciples were on a boat, a terrible storm blew up. The men were terrified, but Jesus called out, Quiet, be still. The storm stopped and the waves died down. This was another one of Jesus' miracles. Just look at the water going into that boat. There's another boat over here, too. There were, his disciples were fishermen. Jesus often walked through vineyards and fields, teaching the people by telling them stories about people like themselves. He told stories about workers gathering grapes in the vineyard. As Jesus gathered people to God, he told them about shepherds searching for lost sheep. As God searched for sinful people, hoping to change their ways. Jesus told people to follow the wishes of God rather than worry about becoming wealthy. He pointed to the flowers of the field, which do not worry about wealth or work for it, yet God clothes them in 
greater beauty than wealth could ever buy the flowers. But not everyone liked Jesus. The leaders of the temple were afraid that Jesus would turn the people against them. They were glad when a man named Ju Judas offered to lead them to Jesus. The temple leaders paid Judas 30 pieces of silver. Soon Jesus was captured by a group of soldiers. They brought him before the governor, a man called Pontius Pilate. When Judas saw this, he was sorry for what he had done to Jesus. He tried to return the money to the leaders of the temple, but it was too late. Pontius Pilate let the soldiers take Jesus away to a place called Golgotha. There he was crucified with two other men. Before he died, Jesus prayed to God, Forgive them, he said. It was a sad day for all the people who loved Jesus. Three days later, some women visited Jesus' tomb. They were surprised to find an angel waiting for them. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus is risen. He is not here. And soon Jesus appeared to the women himself on the road. Just before Jesus went up to heaven, he appeared to his disciples and told them to travel to faraway places and teach people to obey his words. And I will be with you always, promised Jesus, until the end of the world. And that's what really happened. His disciples went all over telling people about Jesus. That is the end of our story today. I thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the story about Jesus. God bless.